Hello, it's Amy. Are you ready for an exercise snack for the legs? And this is, can be done anywhere while you're traveling if you've got an exercise band. I have one of these that, that's a loop band. You can also have another band and tie it around your legs. Um, let's see. I've got to make sure it starts. There we go. Um, let's march in place real quick. Just get the blood flowing and then we'll put the band on. Hold on, I've got to start my timer. <laughs> Just march in place a little bit. Ah, oh, hopefully, I'd rather you maybe got a little bit of a heart pumping exercise snack first. It's not mandatory. I just know when you start strengthening your muscles, you want them to be warmed up just a little bit. All right, let's put that band on and be careful you don't fall down, okay? We're going to put that band all the way around your thighs. Okay, get it up there. Kind of play with that a little bit. Not around your knees, okay? It's got to be up around your thighs. You can hold on to something, and if you want, you're just going to give me, I'm actually going to hold on. You're going to give me a knee lift. Your left, my right, up, work in the hip flexors. Nice and slow and controlled so you can feel the strength holding at that at the top. Really good for hip flexors. Which I have not been using because I've been sitting on them all day. <laughs> And we need to keep those nice and strong. They're a key part of your whole pelvic floor area. Other side. Oh boy, I can feel the difference between the two. Interesting. This is really, this is less than five minutes. Getting some strength in the lower half with band. The band is your resistance. Which can be done anywhere. You can pack these super easy in a suitcase. All right, let's go side leg lift. I'll go out to the side this way first. Oh, yeah, I feel the difference. Uh, I did this without the band a little bit ago. And this really helps. But take, take your time. Make sure you feel that strength. Feel this muscle, the side of your leg working, which is another key part of your pelvic floor and helps protect your low back keeping it nice and strong. Good. Keep going. And then we're going to do the other side. I'll just hang on over here. And it helps to hang on with this one because I really want to feel that. I really want to feel that muscle on the side of my leg working. Good. Keep going. One more, one more. All right, now we're gonna do butt squeezes. One leg straight back, squeezing. Lift as high as you can without um, moving the upper half, squeezing. I like to keep my knee bent on the opposite leg so it doesn't hyperextend. <sighs> to make this a little bit harder, you might wanna go a little bit lower. Nope, I don't like it there. I'm gonna stay right there. <laughs> this one's not that hard for me for some reason. And then the other side. Squeeze. This one, I feel. I couldn't really feel that one side. I'm not sure why. But that's, that's typical. <laughs> Each side is different. I am learning a little bit more about glute activation. How sometimes when we get lazy butts, they won't activate. Everything else will to try to help some of the weaker muscles. And that's when we get hurt. Like the side of them, the glutes or the hip flexors or the low back. All right, now we're gonna try to work the inner thigh by bringing your foot out to the side and trying to lift up with the inner thigh. This is it, right and left and we'll be done. Good. Oh, you feel that? You have to take your time at the top to really feel that. Concentrate on the muscle that you're working, that inner thigh muscle, I feel it. You could also squeeze a pillow, which really helps. And then let's go to the other side. This is it, last one. Up and down. Adjust if you need to. Nice old posture, don't slouch over. I felt myself slouching. Ten more seconds and you're done with this quick lower body strength snack. 
Last one. That is it. Get a little stretch or do some more snacks if you're feeling good. I'll see you in the next snack video. Bye. How'd you like that quick exercise snack? We're back home in sunny San Diego now. If you like that and you want a little bit more, how about my free Fit Over 50 Beginner 7 Day Challenge? I'm down here. I wanted to show you how to sign up. All you have to do is click the link in the description below and then scroll down. You can read all about it here and give me your name and your email. I will send you the link to this free challenge right away with some more information on how to best get started. But what it is, just real quick, is you're going to have access to seven of my favorite beginner over 50 workouts. Everything from a low impact cardio, a posture reset, beginner strength, even if you've got osteoporosis, full body foam roll and stretch, some beginning core and balance and de-stress. I think there's more than seven workouts there. I even give you a downloadable checklist because I don't know about you, but I like to check off when I get a workout done. I'll also be sending you an email every day with a little bit of motivation so you can get those workouts done, learn how to make exercise a habit, and learn the best way to exercise for us over 50 women. I hope you enjoy this and remember it's all free. If you liked that exercise snack, make sure you give me a thumbs up and give me a comment below what you like the most about it. And then don't forget to subscribe over there, wherever it is, <laughs> over there. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye.